praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Truly, it is an honor and it is a privilege to be before you once again. Amen. Concerning the journey that God has given me in blowing the shofar. Amen. Glory to God. So I wanted to read some, th some things to you concerning the shofar before I blow the shofar so y'all can kind of see my progress and, you know, and, and the things that the Lord is doing me concerning blowing the shofar. Amen. Uh, truly, I just thank God for that. And, um, but let's, I just want to just come to you, amen, and to encourage you and to let you know that, you know, that no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, know that God is still on the throne, amen. He is, a, I'm not present God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He changes not, amen, glory to God. So I want to encourage you, amen, and to let you know, amen, glory to God, that he would never leave you nor forsake you, amen, glory to God. So I just want you to encourage the hearts. I want to encourage the hearts of the people, Glory to God in this time and the hour that we are living in. Glory to God. So tru truly, we are living in turbulent times. We are definitely living in perilous times. Amen. We know that Jesus is coming back soon and very soon. Amen. So the king is coming. The king is coming. He's at the door. Amen. Glory to God. So we got to make sure, glory to God, that we are the light of the world and it's all the earth. Amen. That we are, in, in, you know, ministering to the souls of the people. Amen. Glory to God. And whatever platform that you may be in. Amen. Glory to God. Continue to work while it's day. Because when night come, no man can work. Amen. Glory to God. So I just want to thank God for each of you come coming up on this YouTube channel. Amen. Amen. And then just supporting what God is doing. Amen. So I truly thank God for you for that. Amen. So I want to come and speak a little bit about the show forum. Amen. Because I know a lot of people might not understand, might not un understand the significance of the show forum. Amen. And how... You know, it is an instrument unto the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. A lot of people are not familiar with this shofar. Amen. Glory to God. Um, because, uh, you know, you know, me growing up, you know, in church. Amen. Growing up. Glory to God. In holiness. Amen. I never knew what a shofar was. Never heard of a shofar. Never been around a shofar. Glory to God. But as I got older, amen, and I started seeing shofars being blown around this world. Amen. And, and, you know, it's just not blowing it, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, it is a symbolic uh, piece of instrument, glory to God, that many people use in warfare. Amen. Some uh, some use it for uh, uh, the, the, the sound, the, the calling of the sound, you know, of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. So I'm going to read this. It said the shofar is often used as an instrument of spiritual warfare. Um, also, you will uh, see that uh, when God's uh, uh, in Numbers uh, 10 and 19, whenever you have your Bible, uh, look that scripture up. Amen. Glory to God. And it said, when you go to war, um, you know, in the Torah state, it says, when you go um, to war in your land against an adversity who are oppressing you, you know, uh, you are to sound an alarm with trumpets. Then you will be remembered before the Lord your God, and you will be saved from your enemies. Again, that is Numbers 10 and 9. Amen. Glory to God. In the scripture, the word shofar uh, uh, first occurred in Exodus 19 and 16. It first occurred in Exodus, Exodus 19 and 16. Um, you know, it, it says here, uh, it says that, um, it says on the morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightning and a thick cloud on the mountain and a very loud shofar blast so that all the people in the camp trembled. And as the, as the sounds of the trumpet grew louder and louder, Moses spake and God answered him in thunder. This shofar blast is sometimes called the first trumpet of God. Amen. Glory to God. This is this going to be in, tor in the Torah. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, but the shofar is also mentioned 
um, uh, in uh, Leviticus 23 and 24, Numbers 29 and 1. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, you know, we got to understand it here. It says, apart from these purposes, the shofar uh, uh, was also used to sound alarms for the camp of Israel. Amen. That's Numbers 10, 5, and 6, and also Ezekiel 33 and 3. Amen. Glory to God. It talked about the Jubilee. Amen. Glory to God. Also, the shofar was used when Joshua raged war against Jericho. Okay, we remember the Jericho wall. Amen. They were sounding the shofar, you know, then. Amen. But also, they was preparing the way for glory to God for uh the way for by sounding the shofar that's in second chronicle 3 and 12 uh nehemiah 4 and 14 jeremiah 4 and 19 amos 2 and 2 and zephaniah 1 and 6 amen glory to god also we got to understand here sometime the last trumpet okay it says uh uh, uh, okay, it's also in the time of judgment, glory to God, was sealed. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But the shofar also you used during worship. It's used during worship at the tabernacle and temple. It sounded when the Ark of the Covenant was returned to the camp. That's 1 Samuel 4, 5, and also 2, 2 Samuel 6 and 15. Amen. Glory to God. Blowing the shofar uh, declares that the Lord God is the king of the universe, as it says in Psalms 98 and 6. With trumpets and the sound of the shofar, it said it shouted for joy before the king and the night, which is the king of glory. The kings of kings and the lords of lords is, is the king of Ananias. The shofar also a signal during that time um, of Israel glorious redemption during the day of the Lord. Amen. So we must understand also it says that the shofar blasted from the angels who were gathered, amen, who were gathered um, together his elect for the four winds. Um, amen. Glory to God. That's in Matthew 24 and 31. It said from the end of the heaven to the other. Amen. So, um, there are some different types of, um, you know, when they go different type of seasons, amen. Um, when they blowing these shofars, amen. Glory to God. All right. And also it says here that the, uh, the shofar is also is a blessing. Amen. Glory to God. So uh, those are the different things that uh, different uh, scriptures that I wanted to come to you. And next time I'll be back on here, I will have other scriptures on uh, concerning the shofar. But I just wanted to come to you and just give y'all a little um, a little bit about the shofar and not just coming on here and just blowing it. Because many people are not going to understand, you know, um, you know. <laughs> a lot of people not going to understand, but those that uh, do understand, they know exactly what I'm saying. Amen. Glory to God. But uh, I do know even in Revelation, it talks about the trumpet being blown. Amen. It's, it's a significant about these shofars. Amen. About the trumpets, which is the same thing. Amen. That's going to be blown. I, I even remember, amen, even uh, in the word of God, it was talking about different, uh, you know, when the when the enemy come on the camp, you know how those uh, army men, how they be up in the tower, and you know, they what they call watchmen on the wall. Amen. They was watchmen on the wall. So when they see the enemy is coming, they sound the trumpet. Amen. They sound the alarm. Amen. And I do believe we are in that time where many are sounding the alarm that Jesus is returning, not just sounding the alarm in his word, but also sounding the alarm in, in trumpet. And amen. Glory to God. And I know there are on the Israel, on the uh, Jewish calendar, glory to God, there's a certain time that they blow these shofars. Amen. Glory to God. In fact, it's coming up 
uh, on tomorrow. I, I, there's there's a uh, what they call New Year's. This is their New Year coming up uh, starting tomorrow. Well, the shofar is uh, going to be blown. There's going to be a consecration, you know, uh, uh, in these times. Amen. So I'm going to go ahead and, and get my shofar. Amen. And I'm going to go ahead and blow the shofar. Amen. And uh, just kind of let y'all know how far that I have come, I have, uh, you know, amen, have um, made progress. I ain't going to say I made much progress, but I have made some type of progress. Amen. I know it by me blowing it and practicing. Amen. Now, sometimes I get up on here and I blow this show for and it seems like, oh, you know, seem like I have made no progress. But I have to, you know, really just, you know, focus my mind and just really just uh, put some, you know, more into it. Amen. Glory to God. I just get kind of nervous. Amen. Because <laughs> um, I'm not used to blowing this. And so anyway, but y'all pray my strength in the Lord. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and attempt to blow this show for and y'all just pray for me. Amen.